Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for checking me out. Today, I'm showing how to make chickpea tuna salad. There's no tuna, it's actually 100% vegan. It's perfect for a summer day or just when you want a cold sandwich. Ingredients and directions will be in the description box below, but you will need two cans of chickpeas, one big dill pickle, three Roma tomatoes, three stalks of celery, one red onion, a handful of sunflower seeds, a pinch of salt, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, six tablespoons of tahini, and one tablespoon of maple syrup. So first, you will rinse and drain your chickpeas that were canned and just add them to a large bowl and begin mashing them. I use a potato masher, but a fork works well too. By mashing them, they become a consistency and texture of canned tuna. It doesn't need to be perfect, I leave a lot whole still. Now we're just going to cut up our three Roma tomatoes. Sorry, I'm not the best cutter. While watching me cut up some tomatoes though, please hit that red subscribe button below. You don't know how much it helps me. A like and share would be cool too. And then just add that to the bowl. Now I'm just cutting up my three stalks of celery. The more finely diced the veggies are, the better they will be in the end. add it to the bowl. Now for my red onion. My favorite way to dice an onion is to peel it, cut it in half, and then cut along the ridges like I'm doing now. Then you'll actually turn it the opposite way and cut the other way so it automatically dices the onion. I seriously had to stop and wipe my tears twice while cutting this. The negatives of cooking with onions. And just toss it in the bowl as well. For the big dill pickle, I honestly just buy a 99 cent whole pickle in the deli section and here I'm just chopping it all up. Just add the pickle to the bowl. This is all of our whole ingredients, so I'm just going to give it a big stir before moving forward. Here, I'm adding two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. I don't even like mustard, but it's good in here and I always used to add it to tuna salad. Now, we will add one tablespoon of maple syrup for a natural sweetener. Now, we're gonna add six tablespoons of tahini. Make sure to shake the tahini beforehand. It can get kind of thick, so this just makes it easier. Now I add about a handful of sunflower seeds. Now I'm just gonna crack some sea salt on top. I didn't mention pepper earlier, but I decided to add some on. Now we just mix it all together. This does make about 10 sandwiches, which is perfect for my fiance and I during the work week. But of course you can cut this recipe in half or double it. Now, you will want this cold, so if you plan on eating it this day, make sure you put it in the fridge for about an hour to get cold, plus set up all nicely. It does last in the fridge for about a week. 
Now I use Dave's Killer Bread. It is a healthier brand, but feel free to use whatever bread or wrap, lettuce wrap, crackers, make it into a dip. There's endless ideas. I love to usually toast my bread and just have it plain, but here I topped it with some tomatoes and greens. You can even add a sauce to zazz it up. This tastes so good and fresh. It seriously reminds me of a tuna or chicken salad. Perfect for a hot summer day. This is one of the first recipes I made when I started transitioning to a vegan diet, so I loved it even when the taste of meat was fresh in my mind. So please try it out and tag me in it if you do. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you in my next video. Bye.